Hello everyone, my name is Hannah. Welcome to a new video. Today's video is going to be my January TBR. So first TBR of the year, I want to kick off the year strong. I have some five star predictions on here. I have a few rereads and stuff. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. So the first book that I will be reading in January is one that I've already like started and I'm halfway through and that is Daisy Hates the Great Undoing by Jessa Hastings. This was one of my most anticipated releases of last year. It just came out and I will probably be finishing this on January 1st. I'm halfway through, like I said, I'm 235 pages in already, and I think it's about 430 pages. So I have 200 pages left, but I will likely be finishing this on the 1st. I just wanted to add it into this TBR because I put it on my December TBR, but it didn't come out on the day that it was supposed to be released. It came out like a week later. So yeah, the first book, first read of the year is definitely going to be Daisy Hates the Great Undoing and I'm loving it. I'm going to talk about a few of my rereads for the month. So the first reread that I will be doing in January is House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J Mass. This is for my Sarah J Mass read along with my friend Christina. We are on to the Crescent City series, the last series that we need to read. And I'm very excited to reread this one, especially after reading House of Sky and Breath. I'm very curious to see like if I can figure anything out from this first book. I know Rachel from Raven Haired Reader said that this one just hits different after reading House of Sky and Breath. So I'm very excited. I need to re-tab because I still have the neon tabs and I'm going to be adding some new tab colors to my tabbing system for this one. So I'm really excited to reread this one. I feel like once I read this one, it's going to put me into a fantasy mood. So I do have some like non-fantasy books on here, but I'll probably read those towards the beginning of the month. And then once I get to this one, I think it's gonna wanna be all fantasy. <laughs> My next reread is going to be Rhapsodic by Laura Thalassa. This is a reread for the Fanro book club that my friend Sahar over at Basically Bookish Reads hosts. Me and a few of our other friends are going to be like co-hosting that with her and discussing it. So we'll do reading sprints for this book and the series and then we'll do like a live show discussion over on Sahar's channel. So I will leave all of that information linked down below as well as all of the other hosts. Rachel is going to be one of the hosts. Cami is going to be one of the hosts. And I think Sarah from Sarah Shelves is also one of the hosts. But yeah, I've read this before and I really, really loved it when I read it. I think I gave it four or five stars. So I'm very excited to reread this one because I've been wanting to reread the series for a while. These next rereads are a rollover from December. I just didn't have the chance to get to them in December, but I think that I'll have the chance to get to them in January. At least I hope so. And that is the Folk of the Air series. The next installment, but like a spinoff of it, The Stolen Air, comes out in January. And I do want to read that one. So I think it comes out like early on, like January 3rd. But I'm just going to pick it up. And then whenever I get to these, I'll read that one as well. Because I want to reread this series first. Because it's been a while since I've read these. And I remember really, really loving them, especially The Wicked King. So I'm excited to get back to, into this world and have the story be fresh in my head for The Stolen Air. So... I'll hopefully be rereading these in January. And then the last reread that I have planned for January is Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I want to reread this because Hellbent comes out this month. It was a option for Book of the Month, so I selected that. That's how I read Ninth House the first time. I got it from Book of the Month. Guys, this is A Dark Academia, and I gave this five stars. I absolutely loved it. But this came out, I want to say, in like 2019. It's been a while. Yeah, 2019. So I've been waiting for the sequel for a long time, and I'm excited to see what's going to happen because this book leaves off on a bit of a cliffhanger so I'm very excited to see what happens. Then I have a feeling that once I read Ninth House and Hellbent I'm going to be in a bit of a dark academia mood so I'm going to want to pick up The Atlas Paradox by Olive e. Blake. This is the sequel to The Atlas Six which I read and really really liked. I thought it was very fascinating. Um, it is a, a little bit slow but in like a good way. I'm excited to see where the story is going to go. I just really want to try to get to it now that I have it so adding this to the TBR. Another Olive e. Blake that is a five-star prediction is Alone With You in the Ether. I just have a feeling that this book is going to be like very beautifully written and I am just really excited to see what it's all about. I've wanted to read it for a while now. I wanted to get the self-published version but it went out of print and then it was picked up by a traditional publisher and I couldn't get my hands on a copy of the self-published edition. So I've been waiting for this one and it finally came out in November I want to say and I just haven't gotten to it yet but I feel like I'm really going to love this one. 
It says on the back here, Alone with you in the ether is a contemporary love story like no other, exploring the nature of love, what it means to be unwell, and how to face the fractures of ourselves and still love as if we are not broken. So I think it's going to have a lot of really good mental health wrap. I'm excited to give this a go. And like I said, it's a five star prediction. All right, the next book that I'm going to read, I guess is technically a reread. I didn't even realize, but that's neither here nor there. That is Normal People by Sally Rooney. So I recently watched the Hulu show of Normal People and it, it really, really hit me. <laughs> I really enjoyed the show. Enjoyed is a, way, a weird way to say that, but I really liked the show. I think it's very well done. And it made me want to give the book a second chance. If you don't know, I read this sometime last year and I did not enjoy it. I think I gave it two stars. But I think I'm in a different place in my reading and reading enjoyment and what I like that I feel like I would enjoy this a lot more the second time around. I think that I will appreciate some of the things more that I didn't like in the first one and have a little bit different of an opinion on it. So I want to reread it. I've got the audiobook from my library and I think I'm going to annotate in it this time because I just... I don't know. I feel like the story is going to hit different after like watching the show and seeing it all like play out on the show. So I'll be reading this one in January. Then I have a couple romances here that I want to try to get to. The first one is The Roommate by Rosie Dannon. I got this off of Pango Books from one of my subscribers actually. They wrote me the cutest note. So I've just seen a lot of really good things about this book. I know it has some like mixed reviews but I've seen some TikToks with some like cute steamy moments too and I just like I want to give it a shot. I think that I'm gonna like it. it. Just sounds like it'll be a fun time so I want to get to this one. And then I also want to try to get to Stolen Air by Sophie Lark. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. My mom got this for me for Christmas. Christmas, and so I want to try to get to it while I'm still in my romance reading mood. It is a mafia romance. It is a bit of like a kidnapping because it's Beauty and the Beast romance. So and I think the main character is a ballerina. So I'm very interested to see how I feel about this one. This is the second book in the Brutal Birthright series. And I did read Brutal Prince and I liked it. It wasn't like anything super great, but I really am curious about this one. And I've heard that the series just gets better as you read it. So I want to try to get to this one. And then the last book that I'm going to put on this TBR is again, a bit of a rollover from December, possibly even November, but whatever. I want to try to get to it. And that is Daughter of No Worlds by Carissa Broadbent. This is the first book in the War of Lost Hearts series. I read The Serpent and the Wings of Night by Carissa Broadbent per Rachel's recommendation and I absolutely loved it. It was one of my favorites of the year, five stars. And so I'm very, very excited to get to this one. It is a fantasy romance. I think the romance is very slow burn though, but I've heard that it has some major Throne of Glass vibes. So I'm very interested in reading that. Carissa Broadbent's writing is really, really good. So I really want to get to this series and start this series. And I, again, I put it on my December TBR and I just didn't get to it. So I'm hoping that January is the month that I can start this one. So yeah, that is quite the stack of books to get to in the month, but I'm really excited about all of these. Again, like I said, I've got some five-star predictions. I've got some really great rereads happening. And so I think that I'm going to be kicking off the year strong. I'm very excited to get to all of these. So hopefully I do end up enjoying them. If you made it to the end of this video, leave the book stack emoji down in the comments down below to let me know that you made it to the end. And don't forget to click like and subscribe while you're down there to help support me and my channel so you never miss any bookish content from me. And thank you so, so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye.